Um, well, the introduction with the, the like a little. I'm not quite sure what that was actually. The introduction, I didn't understand what that was about really. No, I think I understood it because uh, that was quite a nice balance. I didn't understand the role of the performer who was miming the words. I wasn't really sure if it was supposed to be the performer of the song or what her role was. I really like the storyline of the girl and everything which happened to her on the day. And I think that the idea of the masks as the motif was a, was re the reoccurring of it was really good. Um, actually, I, I quite like the masks because it was quite a different approach to videos. Like I hadn't seen a music video like that. Um, I liked the part where um, the I Wish sign came up because I thought it was really effective just having the words on screen instead of someone saying it or the words in the background. And I liked the part where it split into four screens because it kind of showed, it kind of emphasised the feeling in the song. Um, I like the cut and paste. Well, actually, I was really impressed about like the whole mask thing, because I I thought because I just thought it like animalistic imagery and stuff came to my head and the transformation of people into. Um, I thought it was really unique and it made the video stand out. I mean, you don't really see it used very often. It's really unique and to kind of fit the genre of kind of music and stuff. Yeah, like these are the the um, the masks actually. <laughs> because um, we kind of fit into the, to the genre of indie music, you know, a bit abstract in that. I thought the masks made the, the video quite individual and different from all the other videos, and I thought it was cleverly done to symbolise the way that how she feels towards those people. Um, I thought that she could have been a bit more enthusiastic, because you couldn't... She looked like she was mumbling the words, even though she was meant to be miming them, because... You couldn't really tell her mouth was moving in time. Yeah, um, I think that the narrative actually overweighed the performance. There was only like a few shots of the actual artist saying anything and then it was, and then it just went back to the narrative. So that kind of made it, for me, kind of felt like a short story. But if there was a bit more performance <laughs> in it, then it would have been good. It sort of was a bit of a break from the story and it really focused on like the personal situation. I thought the um, performance shot worked really well with the music video because it was set in the woods, which is one of the main settings for the storyline. And also it made it look a, lot, a lot more like a music video because of the performance of it. Uh, yeah, I understood the narrative. Um, I thought it was quite clear and I understood what was happening. So you had like different events that happened to the girl and then at the end they kind of all came back to haunt her. The animal bit at the end was a bit confusing, although I kind of get whole theme it kind of goes with it. I think I understood what happened with the narrative because the story was well set out so that the storyline made sense all the way through.